hey guys so today i'm gonna show you how we can uh, add any exe to our install sheet to be invoked uh, as a for the support right so let me open the install sheet first so let me describe what i'm saying you know sometimes what happens uh, we need to create or we need to call some logic which will support my installation or uninstallation right so for that reason sometimes our logic which will be helpful resides in some of the exe file right? right in that case we need to invoke that exe how we will be going to do that exe to invoke that exe so this is a tutorial for that scenario right so what i'm going to do is that uh let's say uh, this is my install sheet installer and uh, I need to invoke the exe which is this one. Let me write first. Uh, my folder, where is my I am not going to run that right. No way. I am going to download. Download. Divert it. Here I have file win md5.exe i need to invoke this file i'm supposing that i have to invoke this file what i'm doing i will be just copy this file path i will come to my install sheet here i will come to the support files support file is available in the installation designer inside the behavior logic and inside for this in the support files here there are a couple of notes in the middle pane i will be selecting always always and always language independent here insert file my file path so i have read my file right now second step is just to go to this direct editor and verify let us open first then i will do so i have done my first step adding my exe file second step is to go to the directory table here search whether there is a support dir directory or not right so what i will do is that i will just support no so i will be adding that key support dir right so my support dir the default dir whatever i don't know so what i will do is that default parent is target dir Nothing will be there. The default will I think dot seems like yes or not. I am just confused. <laughs> I am confused though. So okay, let's see. Where is my support area? Support area is this. Should I remove it? Okay, I just removed it, right? Be zero. What happened? Okay. I'll add this. Oh, oh. So directory editor. Hmm. So for DIR. Okay. Leave it. Let's try with this. Right. Now, second step is done. Third step is to go to the custom action. Add one of the custom action. Custom action. Invoke exe in a text and there is an option for invoke exe launch an executable is stored in the directory table next my directory would be support dir now here i will be adding the exe name right so my exe is this one i will be writing it let sometimes what happens uh, we, our exe takes some command parameters so what will we do we write something like uh, cmd.exe and uh, then slash c then our command inside this parameter list so i am not going to write now this one this format i will be showing this in another 
demo i am just using that sim doing through simple logic next and next next here i am configuring in the installation right installation means this not remove and then next done you can see there are 20 sentences now one more thing to do in case I could not uh, install and get some error then how to know the error so we'll come to this S say custom MSI logs means yes we'll save it and we'll build it and we'll then test it right now that I am going to change the sequence of this uh, I am going to align it early very early before committing something after this it will be a good option I think I think I have I have done row, just build it. Okay. install ah directory manager not initialized something will be the steps okay i will be seeing the error but before seeing the error i will try to uninstall it okay that's the reason i didn't mm -hmm. What I need to do is that I am thinking that the issue could be because of this sequence. So I need to again change. Okay, no worry. I am going to do it on this install in finalize. Prevent. Oh, same file folder is open. My system got hanged. I am not able to do it. It's done. Now let's see what happens. Do we get any error? Oh, I am getting error. So there is a problem with this. See the problem. To see the problem, what I need to do is that I need to click on this. Finish. This way, I'm getting the error. Invoke exe right. So I need to search really. Invoke exe. So this is the error. Error says that if program required for this cannot be run. Support location is bad. I see this, 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 this. Command is this. There is a problem with this container. So the program for this install. Okay, 
I don't know why. Okay, so ultimately saying there are few errors uh, we'll go debug. I'm just holding for a few minutes. So I did some changes. Let me show you the changes first. So I went to this uh, direct editor. You know we have added uh, support kind of data uh, directory. So as previously I have set it to empty for the default DIR. Now I set it to support DIR. So support DIR directory name will be support DIR. Default directory will be support DIR. And if correct default paint will be direct DIR. And is attributes will be zero, right? So this way we need to configure. Second change I did is that if I come to this uh, my exc one then you know that uh, if I click on this worry right it says that uh, enter the working directory name for the executable file and second name is that file path so if you read this uh, helpline then it says that for the support files you need to provide the exc name in such format like inside the double quotes inside this wait a minute something is happening no 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 so inside the double quotes inside and before the file name i will be providing the support here under the brackets in, in this way so i did the same thing let me sh um, go to this custom action again so that you can understand what i write so go to the next this is same as i done previously now this is the same launch and exe and restore the directory table now come to this i did the changes only in this field this field is the previously it was only this one now i did it to this one by double quotes and uh, before the name of the exe file i have added this one because it is a support file right so next uh, next next nothing changes except this right now let me to firstly uninstall it if I have already installed it. Okay. I will be just build it. I will show you how it is working. So let me just open it exe for you. Uh, this is my exe. When I open it, it looks like this. I need to say, I need to provide the checksum. I need to get the checksum for any exe file. So this way, this is the exe for that, right? Now closing it, I will be opening by install cd install. So opening it, installing this application. see my exc is running <laughs> and installation is in progress only when i will finish it i will exit right finish i am going to show you one more uh, one more magic wait a minute i will be saying that return process should be asynchronous no wait for completion right and finish and i will be in building it and installing it uh it is getting hand As I remember, I have closed that folder, right? It will take few seconds of time. Run. Okay. Installed. 
सुनो माय सी माय एक्सी गॉट एक्सेक्यूटेड एंड अलसो इंस्टॉलर गॉट फिनिश्ड सो दिस इज़ बिकॉज आई थिंक फिनिश ऑफ फिनिश वर फर्स्ट एंड देन दिस इज वेंट एंड दिस बिकॉज आई हैव सेड दैट रिटर्न प्रोसेस शुड बी अ सिंक्रोनस एंड नो वेट फॉर कंप्लीशन राइट नाउ we have uh, done with this demo you have learned that how to run an exe as a support file which will support the installation but we, this will this file will not be installed so keep in mind that the exe which i have added through the support language will not be installed on the machine but will be available while installation and uninstallation uh, processes just to support your install and uninstall process right so one more thing it will reside when will whenever it will be executed uh, there will be a folder with the product code name inside this folder and inside that folder it will be assigned so now point come to the recommendation so recommendation is that we have to create uh, support dir inside this directory table if it does not exist already and we have to create this di directory with this configuration which i have already done shown you right and now second thing is that uh, i need to add the exe file in this support files only inside this language independent not inside this language particular only inside language independent right now third thing is that let's verify the path variables the path variables are incorrect and to correct it right so the path variables should be uh related one related one means let's say my program file my 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 my, my window folder is that so i will be saying that my path should be like this windows folder then one folder up one folder up and then go to the user and download right so let me to compile it just to figure out an error because of this changes so basically my uh, folders my default defined value should be a app should be a relative path not a absolute path let me to uh, oh it is stuck okay so this is my uh, path and if you see that is there any change so i would expect there is no change my file is still will be available in the support files yes this is available uh, this is in the path to the diverted file and path refer is my this one which is generic one right now this is not an absolute file this is just a this is just a uh, predictive path now uh, so that, that these are the recommendation thanks for watching my video